off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I have to go I'm getting my nails done this morning Take these out Been on the computer but we had a bit of a situation two days ago. Actually, five days ago. Ashley got sick about five days ago. Throat. Let me see. Hang on one second. Can't go in there. Let me go over here. So I can't <laughs> talk. I thought she was awake. So over the weekend, she just said her throat felt scratchy, but we kind of had a cold going through um, the kids for the past couple weeks, and so we just thought it was that. And then, like Saturday night, Sunday morning, she was like, Mom, I just can't swallow. And instantly I was like, strep throat. I was like, okay, I'm taking you. She's like, I don't want to drink, I don't want to eat, I don't want to, and I was like, I'm not playing with this, because like, <laughs> I didn't want her to go to school on Monday or even go to church on Sunday um, and get everyone sick. And so it was a bit of a traumatic day on Sunday. Um, she accidentally forgot to take her anxiety meds Saturday night. Jason and I were out um, with our friends. We have been trying to reschedule her timing of her pill and she forgot what time she was supposed to take it so she just didn't and then she fell asleep. So to say that Sunday was horrible is an understatement. <laughs> it was such a testament to how effective her medication is. And we had a very good conversation about it last night, her and I, her, Ashley and I, about how important it is for her to take her medicine. She's like, yeah, I think I know why I had a bad day on Sunday. <laughs> we won't go into all of that. She feels good about how it ended up and how she's realizing the medication, uh, how much she's needing it, but very flaring, positive <laughs> result from this strep test um, that we got at urgent care. Um, it was like an hour and a half wait to get into urgent care, but they felt bad. It was only supposed to be an hour wait. And so when they called at the hour mark, they were, when we were sitting in our car, um, and they were, we are so sorry. We've had a few extra complications from people that have come in. Um, we do need a little bit more time, but we promise you, um, given her symptoms, we are gonna all we are gonna put the order in for her strep test now, so that when she comes in, and this is exactly how it happened, we came in, the nurse took her vitals, literally swabbed her throat, took that strep test out of the room, came back in five minutes later. Yep, that is a positive, <laughs> and we were right out the door, um, which is fantastic because usually the wait is so long once you get into urgent care. So she's on antibiotics. She stayed home from school yesterday. It was Monday. Today's Tuesday, and she woke up at probably seven o'clock this morning. I was up. Jason and I both woke up, and we're like, "Why is it the two days that we don't have to have her you know, like get up because she's not going to school?" And we wake up at the freaking crack of dawn. Um, so I've been up since seven a.m. She got up and came down to me, and she was like, "It just hurts, Mom. I don't think I can go to school still," which she doesn't have to. She's just not contagious today, so she could go if she was feeling well. She's passed out, let me show you. here for just a little bit longer and then I will be home right away after Kaylee goes to school. She just has no classes this semester in the beginning of the day. So I scheduled here on a milk carton. <laughs> See if you'll stay. Um, I scheduled this appointment just in case I had Ashley home today um, for timing it. But Kaylee's upstairs. But Ashley can be fine on her own. She will be on her own for just a minute. So, also, I have so many updates because I haven't really filmed for a couple days. I got my new bag. If you remember, the day I got my new one, the first one, 
the zipper was broken. Look how much of a difference a zipper <laughs> can make. And this big, huge leather strap. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited. And because it has my new extender on it, it's just even better. It's down here. So even with, you'll have seen this video, um, even with um, a smaller chest, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna work out right. So, um, and I have to be careful. If you guys leave a comment down below, if you're not comfortable with me talking about this upcoming surgery, which I need to schedule, we have agreed that I'm gonna go forward with it. Um, this is gonna be a topic of conversation later, like as I get ready for the surgery. So I'm sorry if you're uncomfortable with it. My friends are, some of my friends are very uncomfortable having the conversation, so I'm just not going to with them, and that's totally fine. But it's a big conversation for me, <laughs> no pun intended. So dumb, I was Marco Poloing with my sister and automatically went to the hospital. Instead of to get my nails done, I went to the hospital because I spent all day there yesterday. That's another story for another time. Look how cute. Not as bright as I do for Hawaii. And it has like a little bit of a purple undertow because clearly I'm wearing a lot of purple these days. But I didn't want to do like matchy matchy purple. And honestly, I think I'm going to make it home before Ashley's even awake. Where's my car? Which is crazy, but she's she doesn't feel good. Um, so I can, now I can tell you what happened at the hospital yesterday. Um, so I just went for a regular doctor appointment with my endocrinologist. And uh, I got there and I checked in on time. Everything was fine. And uh, where is my car? Oh, I'm over here. <laughs> Um, everything was fine except they were like, uh, your insurance is invalid. And I was like, no, it's not. They, no, it's not. And she's like, well, it's not working. And so, like, they had to, like, check it, keep checking it. And, um, she's just like, well, and I said, okay, well, maybe you don't have an updated insurance card on file so let me I keep leaving it in the car and so I was like here I have it on my my chart so I gave him the policy number my car making so many beeps um gave him the policy number showed him everything and they were like it's still not working it's still not working so they deleted it took them 45 minutes they deleted my entire insurance record history on my file which I don't know if that's a problem, but they did. And then tried to run it through with that um, that policy number. And then she came out after 45 minutes of waiting and she was like, is your maiden name Hatch? And I was like, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the same problem I have every everywhere I go, but like mainly with this doctor, they don't bother to look at it. I don't have my maiden name um, or my my social attached to my married name. I never did. I spent five years every year going to the stupid social security office and it was right by my work. And hey, can I change my social security number to my married name? And I'm like, you don't actually need to do that. And so I never did. I just stopped trying. And I now, so it's attached to my taxes attached to my medical record as my maiden name and I have just left it and it's not a big deal my tax accountant she's like it's not a big deal we just run it through your maiden and everything is all good except every time I go to the doctor I just had to tell them remember it's under my maiden name not my married name because I always make my appointments under my married name <sighs> they deleted my whole record just for no reason and they were like oh yeah it went through and then she was like, well, I'm sorry for de the delay for your appointment. It's going to be a little bit longer. And then walked away from me and didn't. Okay. So I sit there for like five more minutes and like, I see her leave to go to lunch. And I was like, uh, okay, wait a minute. And I look over and there's the other receptionist leaves to go to lunch. And I was like, and then a nurse leaves to go to lunch. And I was like, what is going on? So I go back up to the front and I was like, um, Am I going to get seen today? I don't understand what's going on. Everyone's leaving. And she was like, 
your appointment's at 1.15. And I was like, it's 1230 at this point. I'm an hour past my appointment time. I was like, what do you mean my appointment's at 1.15? Check in for 1.30 appointment. And sure enough, I looked at it on my my chart and suddenly my appointment changed from 11.30 to 1.30. I was like, what are you talking about? I've been here for an hour for an 11.30 appointment. When did it change to 1.30? I'm thinking I made the appointment when I was in Hawaii, but that's a three hour difference. I was like, what happened? I didn't get here at the wrong time. And she went back to check and see, you know, with the doctor and the nurse that was back there and they were like, everyone's gone. Everyone went to lunch. And she was like, why didn't the receptionist tell you that they changed the appointment time on you? And I was like, because she didn't. No one told me that the time was different. She's like, well, we went an hour past your appointment time and that ran smack into our lunch time. <laughs> so they just left. Everyone just left and went to lunch. Didn't worry about the fact that I was there for an appointment on time. So then I had 45 minutes to, go to kill, cause get this, they were like, well, we need you back 15 minutes early to check in. I was like, I've already checked in. I've already checked in. What are you talking about? <laughs> so ridiculous. So I went to Marshall's. I'll show you when I get home when I got it, Marshall's and Home Goods. They're all together. Um, and then had to dash back to check in early. Anyway, I'm so dumb. So I spent three, equivalent of three hours at the hospital and dashing off to the store for a quick little break. All to have my endocrinologist tell me, oh, so you, okay, so you walk like six miles and then you like do a few, you know, 10,000 steps the next day and 10,000 steps the next day and then like 13 miles sometimes is the most you've walked before. I was like, yeah, and I'm really doing good on my eating and I'm intermittent fasting and I had a, a hard week with my mom's passing anniversary, but so like I ate all my emotions but other than that I've been doing really good and she was like oh okay so that's not good enough <laughs> I was like 13 miles of walking isn't good enough even if I did that every day that's not good enough and she's like no apparently not I was blown away I was in tears I was in tears she's like it sounds like you need to like I don't know I get it she wants me to meet with a nutritionist and a dietitian and um, a, a support group. Literally, like, she wanted me last time to, like, join this YMCA, like, nutrition group. And I was like, I am not going to talk to a group of strangers about what I eat. It's not happening. And she's like, that's what it was? And I was like, yeah, that's what you sent me to last time. Like, in December. That's what she sent me to. I was like, I'm not doing that. Actually, it might have been last year. Anyway, it was so dumb. And so I told her, I said, I'm not gonna start counting calories. I'm not gonna see a nutritionist. I understand these concepts. I understand I need to change my habits and I'm trying to do so. Um, so she's like, I need to, then I need you to start doing some like weightlifting. And I talked to my sister and she's like, it really does help with like fat burning, which is what you need. She's like, don't be scared with like building muscle and having muscle way more than, you know, gaining weight is what I'm worried about with gaining muscle. She's like, it burns fat faster than it gains muscle weight. So I'm gonna try that. I'm not gonna bring you on that journey quite yet because I'm not comfortable with that at all. Um, I did tell my doctor that I am having a breast augmentation surgery and that that's a lot of the reason why I struggle with working out or going to the gym or doing weight training because these ladies get in the way and they are embarrassing and I don't like it and so she just let me go <laughs> I did increase my um, this is just a quick update because it's been a really long week and it's only Tuesday um, she did agree that I have plateaued with my injections um, and the weight loss that they can provide with that medication. Um, she did agree that I have plateaued because I'm literally in this five pound window. I wake up, I weigh myself, I'm at the highest, and then I go to the bathroom and I'm in the middle of it. And sometimes if I go to the bathroom again, I'm at the low and I'm at my low and I never,
never can break that low. And then the next day, it starts all over again. I'm back up to the high, and I go to the bathroom, and I'm in the middle, and then I go to the bathroom again, and I'm back at my low, and I can't break it. Nothing I do, even walking that 13 miles, I did not break it. And so, we're gonna increase my injections, and um, the dose, she's like, that will kind of spark it again. And then if you do some weight training and some extra cardio exercise and outside of walking, she's like, keep walking. But like, let's do some extra cardio, which I know I need to do. Um, so we will see what I can get up to. So I have been home for a half hour or so and Ashley's just barely woken up like just barely it's noon 12.06 <laughs> she texted me back I left her a message on um, our little messaging that we can do <laughs> from her iPad and I was like I'm gonna get my nails done when Kaylee's here for a little bit then she's gonna leave go get yourself something to eat and I'll be home call me when you wake up she just barely messaged me <laughs> I'm like I'm downstairs I'm back I, luckily it went fast but also like she clearly needed to sleep so I'm gonna get her to her to come downstairs I've got her um, antibiotic right here and I'm gonna give her an ibuprofen and see what she wants to eat see if she can swallow today where's the ibuprofen check for a temperature too she's been doing good with not having a fever We'll see. And we probably could do an allergy pill. <laughs> She's going to get quite a bit here. Take care of this little kiddo. I was going to get the 4th of July decor out. And I might still. But I also need to like maybe go for a walk or work out. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I'm actually like making a list right now to order Kaylee's graduation photos. That's like my number one priority because I need to get them shipped to me so that I can mail them out to um, all the people that we need to mail them out to. And I'm taking a number count right now. Kaylee is doing a number count of how many people she wants to send it to so that I can submit the order. Hi, boo. You know what time it is? <laughs> here, let me get a quick temperature while you... No, come here. I tell you, she's in that thing all the time. Come on. Okay, good. But we have a lot of medicine. Antibiotic, allergy pills, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen. Okay? What would you like to eat? How is your throat? Oh, I forgot. I got you something. smoothie okay I'll get you a straw get her outside can you see that little birdie right oh where'd he go she's up there can you hear she's right right there so this is mama bird and she sits here and clicks because we found out there's a nest down here, huh, Ash? Yeah, and that's the dad. Yeah. You want to show them where the nest is over there? Okay, you can hear Mama back behind us. She's kind of freaking out. It's right there. Look how tiny that is. Isn't that fun? She's right back behind us worrying about this. Okay, we're going to go. It's been a while, I've been lazy today. But look how cute these guys are out there. They're enjoying their McDonald's on the patio. And they're watching their own phones. <laughs> they're just hanging out. Let's look over here. <laughs> okay, you're feeling a lot better. Yeah. You've cleaned up your desk space. Should we go look at that? Yeah, you've made a lot of bracelets. You've, and by the way, this is, Kaylee said that they messed up and they gave her a Coke instead. So I was the obligatory person to get a Coke. Let's go. <laughs> She's like buried in this. We need to hurry. I need to get motivated to actually put workout clothes on. You cleaned up really well. Way to go, kiddo. 
I think you were, let me guess your motivation. Grandpa has been bugging you to ask what you want for your birthday, yeah. which was two months ago, right? But it's a little hard for you now with your anxiety yeah. to go with Grandpa and decide and be put under pressure, right? So Grandpa called again today. He said, Ashley, what do you want for your birthday? And he got really stressed about it, right? Yeah. So what did we decide? Just a gift card. A gift card. And I, first we said Target. And I said, I don't know that Target's going to find have something for you. Hobby. What about Hobby Lobby? Because I do bracelets. Because she can get more bracelet su supplies. I like this one. So is that your motivation for why you cleaned up that little space there? I just did it because it was getting onto your side. Anyway. Yeah, but that has yeah. never ever motivated you before in your life. Because, and then it was getting hard for me it's to do it because I was spilling. Yes. It is true. It is true. So, good job. Your space is very clean. You have an activity tonight. You are making Father's Day gifts, yeah. right? I need you to put some ice, lots of ice in this for me, and I'm going to run up and change, and then we're going to go. I have been lazy and resting on the couch for longer than I need to. Um, actually, I need to plug in my phone really quick. But Chelsea was going to go to her activity at the church, but she was texting her friend asking if her friend was going to go, and her friend's like, no, I have a choir concert at school tonight. So Chelsea was like, well, I, wanna, I would rather go with you. And my, my cord, my phone. Um, just snagged my charging cord. Um, so she says, like, I'd rather go and, like, watch my friend's concert. So I'm going to take her to that and take Ashley to the church, and then I'm going to go walk because I'm not even at 3,000 steps for the day. Um, and I'm not going to drink this because that's certainly not going to help me go for a walk <laughs> as I take a drink. <laughs> just a few sips, just for encouragement. Okay, I have my workout clothes on. It's sunny outside. We're here a little early because we had to drop Chelsea off at a concert. Um, so we're just going to, I am going to walk. She's going to wait here for a minute while her activity waits to start. Right, Boo? Yeah. But I'm going to take my phone so that I can have music. So, or something. Um, what else do I need? I need a key. But I'm not just going to walk around with nothing. No, you're not going to walk around with me. With nothing to do. I won't lock it until you're out of the car. I'll just take the key with me. I'm not going to take my whole purse. My bag will be fine here in the car. Seems as though the patio is quite popular. Now, Mr. Man is out there eating his little ice cream. Enjoying his movie. <laughs> And maybe some of you wonder how he's watching a movie out there. We have Wi-Fi finally. So, uh, as I've alluded, a lot has happened in the few days that we did not film. One of which was we finally got Wi-Fi to spread through our whole house, including, also, I've showered, I walked, showered, um, including Wi-Fi outside, out there, Wi-Fi in our garage. We were able to hook up our MyQ, My Garage. Yeah, MyQ is what it's called. Um, to have access to the garage from our app. And I'm getting, getting it creamy out here. My hands are slippery because I got lotion on them. Um, here, let's put you in the cupboard so we can chat here real quick. So. Trying to find a towel. Everyone uses the towels for the wrong reason. Anyway, we have this predicament of not having Wi-Fi everywhere, and the conversation started a few weeks ago of having a TV in our bedroom, but we don't get internet in our better bedroom. It doesn't matter too much because we just use our cell phones and we have unlimited data, so we just go on data and turn off Wi-Fi when I'm on my phone and I don't worry about it. Can't do that with the TV. So we've been on a mission to try and find a signal that will like spread our Wi-Fi from the router throughout our whole house. We only have a 25 square, 2,500 square foot home. Anyway, we finally have this hooked up. Well, Ashley has her show going. Um, but we finally have the Orbi, 
This is connected to our router that we have from our like internet company. This is, we have, uh, who do we have? CenturyLink. Um, so this router is hooked to this one and this is a mesh router. So that is the hub. And then it links to two other mesh hubs throughout our house that then spreads it. But it's different than like an extender. And um, we immediately had Wi-Fi in our bedroom, in all our bathrooms, which we've never had cell coverage in. Like I said, we have Wi-Fi in the backyard, in the garage, in his Tesla. Now he can do downloads in the Tesla outside. Um, incredible, <laughs> incredible. We are absolutely loving um, the extra Wi-Fi that we got from that. It was pricey to get that system, um, but he needs, um, anyway, he needs Wi-Fi better to do his work for our business and I need it better for my channel. And so it just works, finally, it finally works. And it's making us so happy. So he's enjoying a nice little evening out there. Let me think what else. Ashley had a fun time at her activity. She made a Father's Day gift for Jason, but I can't show it to you until Father's Day because he'll watch it. Um, actually, it'll, this will actually air after Father's Day, but it's in the car and I don't want to go get it. <laughs> But I'm gonna make my creamy and I'm gonna eat that and then go to bed. It's only 9.15. My goal is to finish watching Below Deck and go to bed. I only got my 10,000 steps in for the day. I walked three miles while Ashley was at her activity. Not my greatest, but that's okay. I'm glad Ashley is feeling better. Um, she's no longer contagious and she no longer feels sick. In fact, I should probably get her medicine before she falls asleep. I think she went up to take a shower. So, she's feeling all better. <coughs> and I'm gonna call it a night. So, take care you guys, and we will see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.